Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, y'all. There's a reason I'm saying that, but I've got a quote. There's a wonderful movie called Field of Dreams. And a line in this movie really struck me. If you believe the impossible, the incredible can come true. Well, my guest is about to prove that. Scott McLean is the owner of the totally new, but steeped in tradition in the Adirondacks of Stony Creek Ranch Resort. Welcome, Scott. Great to be here. It's really great to have you here. I thought of that quote because uh, it's not that long ago, maybe five years ago, my wife and I were wandering around up in the Adirondacks as we usually do, and we came across this place that had, it was former glory. Mm -hmm. it, you knew it was a major part of the Adirondacks and the community, and it had just fallen on hard times. Then all of a sudden, about a year ago now, we heard about you, and we heard about this guy, Scott McLean. He's got this dream, he's leaving politics, he's coming up here and he's gonna convert this place and bring it back. And you did that. I did that, Are yeah. You crazy? I, mean, like, what, <laughs> I am crazy, what's yes. What's going on? <laughs> what made you wanna do this? I, I used to work in politics. I was a legislative director at the Pennsylvania Senate. And you just kind of wake up one day and you look in the mirror and you go, is this what I want to do for the next 35 years of my life? Mm. And the answer was not yes. And yeah. since it wasn't, I had to ask myself, well, what is it that I want to do? And I had to do a lot of soul searching and kind of uh, figure out what it is I wanted in life. And it, it all came together when I found the ranch. As soon as I found the ranch, I, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. I, um, I had been looking originally to kind of either buy a summer camp or, or a type of resort facility, but I hadn't found anything. It took me about two years. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of getting discouraged because it's been a long time of every weekend going out and looking at another property, another property. My mom suggests and says, hey, there's this one up in New York. Maybe we should go check it out. And I looked at it. I'm like, oh, it's, it's kind of interesting. Let's check it out and see what, what we think. And I remember waking up that morning. Um, getting in the car, driving to the property, and I'm thinking to myself, boy, you know, I wonder if I'll ever know that this is it. And I'm driving over the hill, and as I ask myself that question, there's this sign there that says, Thousand Acres Ranch Resort, this is it. Mm -hmm. So there's literally the sign telling me that, yes, this is it. I pull onto the ranch property, I see it for the first time, and just instantly, you just have that feeling that this is it, that you, you found it. And I pull down the driveway and I pull into the parking spot right next to the train station, turn off the car, and as soon as I did, I heard this sound off in the distance. I look over and it's the train goes by the train station, the engineer's waving out the window, and I looked at my mom who's in the passenger seat and I said, this is it, we're, we're gonna end up getting this. I just know it. Well, you know what? And then there's always the be careful what you wish for <laughs> <Yes>. thing, right? <laughs> but, um, and I can tell you, because when we did visit it years ago, we went at just and to like the main dining room, the restaurant area, and it was a false ceiling and it was shag carpets and all this other stuff. Well, we just recently shot video up there on a very exciting day. It was really the, the first day that you said to the community, hey, come take a look at, at what we're doing. And we'll talk a bit about that in a second. But I walked in just the main dining room alone and it was this wonderful, beautiful, big cavernous space mm -hmm. that had all been redone. The cabins have all been redone. The barn has been redone. They had rodeos there. The arena is completely redone. The bleachers. This is a massive, massive undertaking. It's been a lot of work. Uh, our last guest last, uh, left last year on October 31st. On November 1st, my team started the renovations. And Got we it. worked right up till literally hours before the guests arrived. Mm -hmm. It's been a long, long process, but I'm so happy with the results. The guests who are showing up are so happy with it. And, and the local people who, who used to go there as kids or work there or family used to go there are now coming back and saying it's better than they even remember it. Well, you know what? I want to talk about that for a second because we were up there shooting video that you'll see all summer long, by the way. And it's one thing to go up there and shoot a cow or a bull or a horse <laughs> or whatever it was. It was the people that were so captivating to talk to. These are people in the community. The, the Stony Creek Ranch Resort is generational. I talked to grandparents mm -hmm. who, when they were kids, had worked at, at the ranch at rodeos, 
right? It's it's all over the area. Anytime I kind of go to a restaurant or I, I go meet somebody new, this conversation usually gets to the ranch at some point. I and, bet it does. And every time someone says, I used to go there as a kid, and my right. parents met there, my everyone has a connection to the place. It, it's this historical location that I've been right. so lucky to now become the caretaker for and to and to bring it back to its glory and to make sure that the next generation gets to enjoy it just as much as the past generations have. Uh, this is something you have to experience. I've got a bit of an advantage on you here because we were up there, like I said, shooting and we've seen the place and we've seen all of the, the changes and we had the opportunity to talk to people that were participating in the rodeo or were watching the rodeo having dinner there, going to the saloon. I mean, you really have to experience this. It's a lifestyle and it is so, I don't know, it's just so embedded in Americana. I, 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 I you know, I can't stop smiling about it. Uh, by the way, this is, you just head up the Northway, exit 23, head into Warrensburg and hang a left on 418. Like you're heading over to Stony Creek, it's right there. As a matter of fact, you can't miss it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's on the road there. It's a great drive, it's easy to get to. And I mean, you bring your family up, you go up and, and I'm saying, see a rodeo, Yep. right? Have dinner, go to the saloon and take some horseback riding. Right? Absolutely, yeah, we yeah. offer so many different things there. And we also have our cattle drives that'll be starting up here pretty soon. No one's done Yeehaw. that in New York. Yeah, <laughs> you get to go out on a real cattle drive, just like in the movie City Slickers. You get on a horse, you take the cow around, you get them over uh -huh. to the next feeding area. Right, I mean, you couldn't ask for more pick, uh, picture perfect area right along the Hudson River in the Adirondack Mountains. It's mm. the most peaceful, it's so much fun. Can I play the part of Billy Crystal? Absolutely. That's all I want to know. We'll get you the Yankees hat too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what I was thinking about. Well, uh, Scott, I really want to uh, thank you. Uh, I know just what it means to the community. I've talked to so many people about you being so adventurous and coming up and, and wanting to take this place over and then to actually see it come to fruition and see the people's faces when they're watching the rodeo or in the saloon or whatever it's really something congratulations to thank you and you your family much. thank it's you. really something and don't forget it's the stony creek ranch resort that's what it's called now head up to warrensburg hang a left on 418 like you're going over to stony creek you will not believe it and bring your family show them part that you won't get this experience anyplace else i'm telling you all right scott more to come we'll be talking over the summer Okay? Sounds great. Great to see you. Good to see you too. And to see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.